hello everyone welcome back this is going to be a lengthy video so i am going to speak on three different topics so let's just get straight into it you should already have your wine and tea let's go when it been a few hours when it felt like days only been days but it felt like months when it gone for a year only go like once life moves fast when you do what you want I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want What you want First things first I hope you are sipping wine right now We need something stronger than tea I am going to address a few of the comments from last video Because I honestly think some of you actually had the video on mute you were watching my past video but you had to have the video on mute or you basically just saw the intro and just came straight to the comments and just made up some things so first things first i want to speak on the aldo uh conversation that i had with you guys i was asked a question miss marquita i went back and revisit some of your past videos i see that you used to wear aldo I have a question. Would you ever consider purchasing another Aldo handbag or have a collection of non-luxury handbags? The only thing that I said was no. <laughs> I would not go back and purchase an Aldo handbag. The key word is go back. I wouldn't do it. I wore Aldo for years until I could afford what I really wanted. So once I saved up, once I started making money in my business, I still kept my Aldo handbag, but I went and purchased the Damier Bean Never Full. That's what I actually wanted. My Aldo handbag in my eyes was my luxury piece because I consider myself luxury. Okay, I consider myself luxury, so I carried my Aldo handbag and I felt great about it. I thought I was the baddest thing walking in the streets. Thread was unraveling, I get my scissors, I will cut it, and I will move on. So, no, I would not go back. I do not think I am above carrying an Aldo handbag. I just elevated, saved, and purchased what I actually love. For instance, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-husband is an ex for a reason, okay? Whatever you took from that relationship, you moved on. Would you go back to your ex? No. You left for a reason. My Aldo handbag is my ex, okay? It's my ex. I moved on to something I like. You guys are in new relationships. You moved on to something that you like. Eventually, that became your husband. You fell in love and you are satisfied. You are happy with what you have. The same with me. My Aldo handbag was my ex. I, I honestly, I honestly have always wanted an LB handbag. So I purchased one handbag. I started liking the handbag and then I actually fell in love with the brand. There's no difference. No, I am not above carrying an Aldo handbag for those that emailed and left certain comments. Okay, that was the first question. The second question that I want to address, this ruffled so many feathers in regards to Michael Kors. The only question that they asked me was, Marquita, I see you talk about your collection. Why don't you have a Michael Kors handbag? because I am not a Michael Kors fan. I've never been a Michael Kors fan. Even when I was carrying my Aldo handbags, I could have purchased a, a Michael Kors handbag back then. I had a good $400, $500 that I could kind of, you know, splurge on a handbag, but I've never been a fan. So that's why I don't have it in my collection. My mother has Michael Kors that I have bought her. I have friends that carry Michael Kors, but Marquita have never been a fan of Michael Kors. Did I compare Michael Kors and Aldo handbags? No, I did not. I don't know where you guys got that from in the video. Non-luxury was speaking on my Aldo handbag. 
Michael Kors, I never said if it was luxury or not. Guys, you make the handbag, okay? If you feel like Michael Kors is luxury to you, then, hey, put it in that category. Me, I never spoke on it. I just don't have it in my collection. I also said that I feel like it's too accessible. I really, really do. No, there's nothing wrong with shopping at Ross. I purchase my clothes from Ross. I really, really do. But if I see a Louis Vuitton handbag in Ross, I am going to question Louis Vuitton, like, what is going on? I really, really would. And so, no, I have no issues with Michael Kors. It's just not a handbag, a brand that I stand behind. Yes, Michael Kors, they need to rebrand. I feel like every business should rebrand or do something that brings attention to their business every year. I really, really do. So that's all I spoke on with Michael Kors. I never compared it to Aldo. I never said that it was non-luxury. I said that it was too accessible. It should not be sold in Ross. That's my own opinion, okay? And yes, they need to rebrand. So the next question, some of you ask why I don't have coach in my collection. I explained to you guys, in my early 20s, mid 20s, I was very, very big in the replica community, okay, with coach. I told you guys, I coached myself crazy. I honestly was creating my own coach handbags. And I just, even though it wasn't the real thing, guys, it was wrong. I do not stand behind replicating any handbags at all or per, or the seller selling them. If you purchase, that's your business. I can't tell you what to do with your money. But those that sell replica handbags, uh, I'm not going to take that back. It, it, it's wrong. I have a business, and if someone replicates anything from my brand, I will be upset. And so I was upset with myself for even purchasing and carrying it like it was authentic. And I basically just didn't feel right. I don't feel right purchasing a coach handbag. You know, like I said, I just feel like I just coached my way on out of it. I love the rebrand. I love the soft coach. Even when I went into sex, I was like, wow, this is amazing. The quality felt great. But that's just not my thing right now. That's just not my thing. It doesn't mean that, hey, I, I don't want coach or I would never purchase coach. Just like I can say I would never purchase Michael Kors, I can honestly say that. I won't say that about Coach. Right now, that's just not my thing. If some of you guys left Louis Vuitton and you went to Chanel and Hermes, I'm going to be like, because you are purchasing what you like. I am not here to say, hey, don't do that. You feel like those brands are better than Louis Vuitton. No, because it's not my business. I stay in my lane and I mind my business. I purchase what I love. I purchase what I can afford. And you guys do the same. If you want to purchase Michael Kors, hey, baby, I will be, I will stand right next to you and clap. Hey, I will applaud you. Purchase what you like, purchase what you can afford. If you have coach, do the same. If you want to go and purchase non-luxury handbags, you are luxury. You make the handbag. The handbag doesn't make you. So, I don't know what some of you guys heard in the last video and you commented and I was kind of lost, but... I just need you guys to honestly listen when I do my videos and, and please don't mistake anything that I am saying. Okay, so I'm glad I was able to address that. Let's move on. I had someone to send me an email in regards to my desk agenda. So I'm going to speak on that before I move on to quiet luxury. Okay, so I have my desk agenda here. This is the GM size. When I tell you, I feel like a million bucks when I have this with me. When I walk into meetings, when I am interviewing, I just feel so good having this, guys. And when I tell you, buying luxury for yourself, I will always say it's a part of self-care. For me, because this is something that I love. I love the luxury community. I love being a part of it, and I love feeling great. So, the desk agenda is something I most definitely, I was so glad I invested in this. So here it is, for those that ask, here's the inside. Of course, I had to make it real. I have hot stamped MNG, 
Of course, it is mine. It has a side pocket as well that I don't use. But inside, I have my budget planner. I hope you can see it. Let me see if I can move it up. Can you guys see? Well, it says budget planner. I purchased this from Amazon. I will leave the link below. But guys, I love budgeting. I love planning. Like, I basically plan me and my kids like entire summer i also put to the side what i can lend out like let people borrow like because i'm always asked to borrow money guys i really am <laughs> so i always have a budget planner with me i update every six months okay this is also a part of my vision board as well because i do budget planning with my vision board and so here it is and in the bag is my favorite notebook from LV. I love having this in my meetings as well. And I just love to take notes, as you guys can see. I keep this notebook with me because even if I'm driving, guys, and I come across something that's on a billboard or if I, because I don't listen to music when I'm in a car. For some reason, I just constantly have to stay focused. If I'm listening to YouTube, it's an educational business video. And if I have to pull over to write something down, guess what? I'm going to do that. And so this notebook actually is already halfway used. And so after I use it, I am going to do something with the canvas material that I cannot share right now. But this is what's in my desk agenda. Again, this is the GM size. I have my budget planner. And I love to put, you know, just motivational stickers here on the front and my LV notebook. And I don't keep cards, but it does have card slots here. I don't keep any cards, credit cards. Um, that's why I have a card holder, but you most definitely can if you like. So again, here is the beautiful desk agenda in the gym size. So for uh, the young lady that sent me the email, I hope this helps. I did see the email, and like I said, I'm constantly going through my emails trying to answer as many questions as I can for you guys. And it also, guys, I don't know. No, it doesn't have a pen holder. I didn't even pay attention to that. I carry pens with me all the time anyway, but no, it doesn't have a pen holder. Okay, so guys, let's get into quiet luxury. This is something that I really wasn't going to even speak on because that's just not something I just have in my collection. All of my handbags are, hey, you see me. Mostly monogram. You're, look, you're going to know this is a YSL handbag because guess what? Pop, YSL is right there in the front. All of my handbags are basically monogram handbags from my Gucci um my fendi ysl especially my louis vuitton handbag so i'm not real big on the quiet luxury so i wasn't going to speak on it the only thing that i have in my collection that's kind of considered quiet is the epi leather alma bb handbags but if you are an lv lover you're gonna know that is from louis vuitton so i can honestly tell you that i understand quiet luxury especially for those that work in an environment i would say this if i worked in an environment full of ladies okay females <laughs> females tend to become jealous much faster than being in an environment with males and i'm telling you this because i have worked with females i totally i totally totally get it so having a quiet luxury handbag at work it depends on who are you working with i get it guys i really really do where you live who you're surrounded with and some of us can't even carry our luxury handbags around our friends and family so i can only say i'm not real big on quiet luxury but i do understand like the Pauline handbag. I think I saw a young lady with it at USPS and I wanted it for my birthday, but I chose something else that will benefit me later on in life over that handbag. But Pauline, most definitely, if I was to go down the quiet luxury 
uh, lane, I will go for a Pauline handbag. I think Pauline handbags are very beautiful. Like this young lady basically took it off and she was letting me try it on. I'm like, oh my goodness. But I honestly fell in love. So for you guys that are asking me to speak on it, I really cannot say much because I don't have a lot of it. I don't have it in my collection, period. But I will, I will go with a Pauline handbag if I want to go down the quiet luxury lane. So you guys, tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel. What other quiet luxury uh, brands that are out there that basically you have in your collection that you are basically thinking about purchasing for me mine is pauline and for some reason i get very very excited when i speak on it but i am a very very bold luxury carrier like my handbags you will look at them and say hey that is a louis vuitton handbag even my black unprompt leather the embossed monogram you see it so that's why i didn't speak on it guys i hate speaking on things not hate let me take that word away <laughs> dislike i dislike speaking on things that i can't 100 percent back up okay so i can't tell you which handbags to go and purchase that are considered quiet luxury but i can tell you that i understand i really do so like in the work environment if you are on the if you have to you know catch the subway if you have to walk to work you don't want to be singled out you don't want to be that person like hey you guys see me come get my purse I totally get it. I totally get it okay so I hope this video because this is not what I wanted to speak on I wanted to speak on summer handbags today but I had to address the video because the comments were crazy and I was screenshotting too I, I was screenshotting all the comments because I was like if I do this Vegas trip some people just can't I can't do it I can't I can't do it as women guys we should uplift you should be happy that I am elevating. Just because I won't purchase an Aldo handbag doesn't mean, guys, I think I'm above it. You should be like, man, Marquita, I'm so happy for you because now, you know, I see your collection. Now you're able to afford what you want. You worked hard. Nothing was handed to you, and I applaud you. That's the type of women that I want to want to be around. We are in this Louis Vuitton community, guys, and I just want to build a community of women that empower each other. You know, we motivate each other. And that's what I want for the Vegas trip, but some of you guys always find the negative in something positive. And I had to re-watch my video three times, ask my husband, and he was like, you know what? You are commenting to all the negative comments and you have so many positive. You are letting the negative overshadow all the positive and all the people that truly love you and understand. So for those that get it, thank you for understanding. You, you get me. You understand what I was basically saying. Guys, you do not have to stay here. You do not have to stay here. Even when they want you to, you don't have to stay here. In life, you should be moving to the top. You should be elevating. Every day, you should be trying to do something to reach your goal. My goal and something that I wanted was to have a luxury handbag when I step out and take care of business. And that's exactly what I did. And no, I mean, I pray that I don't have to go back. I pray that I don't have to go back because I worked so hard to get to where I am today. So, guys like come on like oh my god women we have to do better we, we have we have to do better and that's what i want to be around and if you are a negative nancy stay over there <laughs> stay over there i can't take it i don't want to be around it so guys yes i am still planning my vegas trip i'm not going to tell you what we're doing i'm i'm planning my vegas trip and yes guys i honestly I'm going to have to handpick. I see that now. So next video, I am going to speak on summer handbags. I'm a bit upset because I waited to the last minute for the mini bum bag. I reached out to, what, two CA so far? And it's a waiting game right now. And so I kind of dropped the ball and I waited. I didn't want another monogram and a shed of handbag in my collection. So if you got the mini bum bag, 
please send me a dm i want to see that beauty okay i want to see it and guys like i said let's just empower each other let's do better let's do better okay so as always stay safe stay blessed until next video Mwah. bye bye <music>